Please just get yourself under a cushion. Just see how many cushions you may need. Maybe you need one, maybe you need two. Fat one, skinny one, or maybe a steady block. But either way, see how many you need in order to sit in lotus. If you can, sit in lotus. If you can't, and you can only sit in half lotus. Remember that what we did yesterday, we stacked the ankles, the one on top of each other. Then sit like that in half lotus. Half lotus is one foot a little bit extended. And that other foot will be as close as you can into your thigh. So eventually you'll be doing that from behind. You can try with your strap and start pulling both sides back and front. Okay. But either way, sitting in half lotus or sitting in full lotus with your cushion supporting your pelvis, Just to, there we go, oh, that's nice. Oh, there we go. Just to give myself a bit of a lift. Here is my hip bones. And the hip bones are most definitely higher than my knees. As my knees touch the earth, it just grounds me. But this definitely gives me a lot more support and structure to reorganize the systems inside. Everything's inside there. Okay, good. My little twins. So take your belly button, draw to the back. Just place your hands facing the palms first. Suck your belly in, chin parallel to the earth. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, hands underneath armpit. Leave your thumbs out. Okay. Draw your shoulders down. Take a moment and then inhale, raise your shoulders to your ears. And as you exhale, roll them back. Adjust your spine, tilt back and forth. Just to sit and find which muscles on the back pull. We adjust, wiggle, just shift something inside. Everything is constantly moving. You can be sure of this. There's a flow always moving. So find the stillness in the flow. Center yourself like being the eye of all this storm energy around you. No matter what. Connecting with the gravity that anchors everyone on this earth. It glues you. It's been here since the beginning, since your beginning. You're a part of this. Imagine the earth element inside of you and earth. Instead of me, you, earth. Instead of everybody. The water, 70 to 90 percent of our bodies is covered is water and 70 to 90 percent of the earth is covered in water. You are the microcosm of the macrocosm. I am another you. And then we go to the fire, the sun. We need the sun. We need summer. We need to go out in the day, after winter, after night. Early morning, early light, sunset. We love the fire, the sun, passion, spicy. Take a deep breath and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, just relax your shoulders and feel the air. You're floating, your lungs are like balloons. Even though you've exhaled, there's still air keeping you up floating lightness of being. And even after you take another breath in, lengthening your spine, 
Every new breath is a new beginning, a new moment, a new choice, a new connection, a new thought. Every exhalation, letting go, trusting. Just like the one breath goes, the next one comes. Just like the, the earth circles around on its axis. You are confident of this gravity that connects you. You are confident of your talents and your gifts. Keep inhaling the earth, the water, the fire, the air, and all the space in which we can create all our good intentions with imagination, integrity, and intuition. So imagine me, you, and all these human beings, all these animals, all these little insects, all these little elementals, minerals, kingdoms, plants on this earth, waterfalls, forests, horses, rabbits, frogs, fishes, eagles, bears, reindeers, butterflies. With earthworms, I keep seeing earthworms at home crawling and I always stop and I observe. It means rain's coming, rain's coming. Gratitude, abundance, love, sunshine, full moon, red rose, inhale. Gratitude for this thing we call life, to experience life in all our senses. Chocolate, dark chocolate. Inhale. And as you exhale, feel the lightness of your being. Now I invite you to imagine all the sick people on this earth that you don't even know. Wherever they may be, imagine if you could send your consciousness to places and spaces connecting from below the surface of the earth. Connect with their fear, their fear of surviving, which lies below the earth as we sit up straight in a powerful divine aligned position. And we go where only certain of us can go to heal this earth. As this is our Honestly, this is our volunteering job, so we're not afraid. We go there. Inhale, take a deep breath in. We've already come from places that have made us strong. And as you exhale, sending love to all these people from below the earth, through your heart, through your roots, through your solar plexus, sending sunshine, love, light, earth, warmth, water, emotional support, all these elements, send it to them. Imagine strangers just randomly helping all these beautiful people out. Giving them food and clothing, medicine, wherever they, whatever they need. They need not one for anything. Just like watching dogs who've been neglected and after they've been given love and food and nurturing and nourishment, their hair start to grow and they're so happy to see a human again. Inhale. And exhale. Now imagine everybody's optimum health and their body's just glowing. All the energy lines in their body, their nadis, their chakras, their meridians. Glowing, light, love. Now imagine these people in the position to help other people that were once like they were. Being empathetic to other people, paying it forward. The cycle of love and nurturing and nourishment must not be broken. Inhale. And just giving love and support where 
we can in a harmonious, balanced way without putting ourselves up. Imagine all these people once homeless now with joy in their hearts, the roof over their head, warmth, security, food, clothes, happiness. Creating mem memories of joy with their families and their loved ones. And now let's go and focus on somebody that we know needs healing. It could be somebody that you know through somebody or somebody you know directly. Whatever comes up like popcorn, just allow it to pop up and inhale. Feel this person's face in your imagination. And send the hopper open or the Hawaiian. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. Thank you for giving me this chance to heal you. As I heal you, I also heal myself. Imagine if you were that person with whatever they're going through, how they must be feeling. And just imagine them being you and you going up to them, hugging them and everything just disappears. Saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me and all just gone. Just like that, like magic. Inhale, breathe and believe. Contract your mula bandha, hold. And see how happy these two people are, magic. Feel it, send it out there, focus on that feeling. Wow, I can't believe this. This is amazing. But it's true. So I've got to believe it with confidence. Feel that power, that feeling of achieving. And send it to the earth and relax your mulabanda. Exhale. Smiling. Inside and out. Now let's pick another person. The face, let it pop up like popcorn. Okay, look at that face and just see both people, you in this face, smiling. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you for giving us this chance to heal. Namaste. Inhale, contract your mulabanda, hold your breath. And as you exhale, surrender, let it go and trust the process. Be sure and confident it's healed. And let go. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You've got to trust the divine. You've got to trust the process. And just every time you think of these faces, just feel what you've just felt now, what you've just sent out there. Keep reassuring that outcome by focusing and concentrating on what we've just done. Let's do it again. Inhale, same face. Contract your mula bandha, see their face. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you for giving us this space to make peace. Namaste. Hold, contract, and keep holding. Spine aligned. And as you exhale, walking away, letting go with peace and love in your heart. Let go. All's forgiven, like magic. Breathe and believe. And again, last one. Make it good. Make it a real goodie. Take all the pain of this person, whatever we do know or whatever we don't know. Let's ask our higher self to tap into that unconscious and conscious past pain, trauma that has made this person the way they are today and mine. So inhale, contract the past into your body, transcend it with the 
Saint Germain purple flame. Imagine all this past being transmuted with this energy of violet, purple. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Namaste. And then as you let go, imagine you both walking away with peace and love in your heart. Forgiven, forgotten. Never to be repeated again. And so it is. Right, inhale, lift up your organs, contract your belly in, not your mula panda. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, keep your belly in, relax, mula panda. Now just say to yourself with three breaths, come back into the emptiness within, out with the old, so we can make space for a new healing inside, outside. Visualize those three infinity energies you're busy recreating that power, that intense power with your root, your heart, and your consciousness, mind, body, soul. This, my darlings, is yoga. When you connect your head, the head must bow to the heart and the body will follow. Inhale. Breathe and believe your power, your focus, your will to transform and transcend all traumas of the past with love and peace. This is my intention. Send out your intention there. To your mind, your body and your soul. And as I heal and transform and transcend my own past traumas, I hope to lead everybody else and teach everybody else how to do the same. Give them tools for healing. Breathing, recreating, reprogramming cells in the body, the energy. Inhale, contract. And now, what would you like to heal in your life? One thing of three, we'll go through all of them, love, money, and relationships. Or health, yeah, love, health. Love can be relationships of all kinds, family, lovers, friends. Relations of all kind, health and money. These are the three things. This is your money sector, your roots, your love is your heart. And of course, the health is all in the head, actually. So we can't really go forward until we really forgive. Let that be a clue. Who still triggers you? And if the same person of the past faces you've done comes up, let's do it again. Okay, make yourself ready. Move your spine like a little snake. Just moving energy, but keep your hands underneath. We keep circulating the energy. Imagine yourself like a turbo engine, building up, building up. Get ready. Swallow the fluid, tip of tongue, roof of mouth. Smiling softly with the mouth closed, the belly is in. Inhale, lengthen your spine, relax shoulders, contract mulabandha. See that face, space, place. All is forgiven. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. And exhale, release. Focus and concentrate on that which you desire, that your intention is. With intense focus and concentration, it will manifest. Inhale, contract. Take it up through your heart. Visualize you to do, making peace. 
people, whatever. Take it up, keep contracting, take it up to your crown. Exhale, let go. And again, last one. Inhale, contract. Take it up to your crown, through your spine. Exhale, let go. Right. Now we're going to do two more for ourselves. Decide if you want uh, money or relations or love again. Whatever feels right for you. Follow your feelings. And the exercise is more about trusting your feelings. There is no wrong or right. Whatever questions you have, you've already answered them by just following your feelings. And this is the whole purpose. The head must bow to the heart. Inhale, contract. Feel where you need to go right now. Trust the body. Love, money, health. Optimum health. Infinite financial abundance. Harmonious, peaceful, loving, caring relations of all kinds. And as you exhale, send it out to somebody as well that you know needs the same as you do. It doesn't matter how many people it is, the more the merrier. It's love that makes the world go round, trust me. Inhale, contract all this love that you feel for yourself, for others. There's feelings that you get when you're with other people, that's your love. Inhale, contract that to your body. Draw it in. Feel yourself expanding, radiating, emanating, illuminating, scintillating, vibrating love. And exhale. It was like an awesome party with me and all my friends. <laughs> Having, we were getting drunk on love. <laughs> so again, let's do this. Feel that, that party. You connecting with your tribe. Whatever your imagination shows you, trust the feeling. Right now, we are on such powerful, auspicious times. Trust this transitional energy. Inhale, contract. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, contract. And it's out. And now for the last series of three, or three. So just a recap. Love, relationships of all kinds family, friends, frenemies, whatever. It's all about doing it with love and leaving with love if it's not working. Your health, your divine birthright is to have optimum health. Your divine birthright is to be in harmonious relationships with everybody, peace and harmony. Then your divine birthright is financial abundance. Look at mother nature, she doesn't stop growing she doesn't need to compete nobody should interfere but we do and she just carries on 
And so do our bodies, our cells. They just keep going on. But if we think, I shouldn't eat this, it's going to make me fat. I shouldn't do this because it's going to kill me. Guess what? It will. So you can eat and do whatever you like as long as you feel good. So imagine you are balanced in your intake. You don't feel bad. Remember, you eat good as well as you can eat unhealthy stuff. There is a balance. When I say unhealthy, I'm saying fried chips fried potatoes you can have a smoothie of grapefruit <laughs> with your fried chips <laughs> trust me i've done it <laughs> so we want optimum health my body tells me when i need to ease up on the cheese and the fats when i need to mo go more raw greens so ask your body to show you the way what you need you crave it sometimes you can feel it and you just need it trust that feeling what do i need for my body to heal itself let that be your question to your optimum health if you are doing optimum health take a deep breath and contract your mula bandha sit up straight i'm holding that visual that intention, integrity, imagination. And exhale. And then inhale, contract again, hold that space. What are you healing? Let your imagination run wild with integrity. And as you exhale, trust the process. Follow your feelings, your soul, your heart. This is your truth. The language of the soul, words cannot describe. It's not to be understood, rather to be experienced through feeling. Inhale, contract. And that feeling of joy when you confidently trust and focus and concentrate on these subtle messages and follow them and you succeed as you exhale feel that celebration on acknowledging how wonderful what a great idea it was to follow and trust your feelings your intuition your soul now if you could imagine the planet we've been sending light and all the other people that are working on the planet not just us if we could tap into their energy and work together for the same cause of raising the planet's light and love. This is our real tribe. We're working on the energy line. Imagine, imagine. I'm not asking you to imagine. This is actually true. You could dematerialize into other countries so i could travel along these energy lines dematerialize my physical body and rematerialize in another country i believe in this i haven't learned how to do it yet but i believe it's possible i've heard of people doing it i want to learn how and i'm going to will myself into being I don't have to pay for all this <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> Save the planet. Travel the energy grid. And inhale. And imagine us all meeting on the other side at Stonehenge for a global energy gathering.
Last deep breath in, lift up. And as you exhale, release your legs, release your hands. Let's get yourselves a little bit of space again so that your feet are wide. Please sit in the middle of your mat so that you can allow your mat to guide you. Keep your ankles that wide. Oh, that was so nice. So sit up straight, expand your fingers. I want to send some blood flow through there and we're gonna go again later. Going left, anti-clockwise. Harmonize, inhale. Exhale right, oh, that ankle on the left. So take note, we are you tight and stiff right now because it's all relative. Last one. And then change the direction. Keep your spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Keep sucking that belly in to support your spine. Last one, and inhale up, exhale. Inhale, hold. Feel those feelings, those beautiful healings we've been sending up. Just keep giving that same feeling energy. And as you exhale, that feeling of, yay, completion. Inhale, success. We're leaving with love as you let go. Release with love. Another one bites the dust. So we like healing. Swipe left. Inhale up. And yay, another one bites the dust. Yay. <laughs> Inhale up. Imagine if we could just do that. You could like a Tinder account, swipe left, swipe left, just healing, 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 <laughs> all the past. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. All the things that you feel are out of alignment in your life. And as you exhale, just visualize you like magic, getting everything as you want in alignment, in harmony. And everybody's needs are met. And everybody's in peace and harmony and coexisting in a harmonious, peaceful way. Supporting, caring, loving, nourishing, authentic. Nothing to hide or pretend. When people offer help, they don't mistrust and they don't take advantage and others don't take advantage. Everything's in harmony and it just works. Imagine. Last one. Right. Barakonasana is super important. Bring your feet into your butterfly. And again, if you need to get some extra cushion, please do so. Again, move that energy on your arms. You've been opening up after sitting like that, and there's still now a little bit of pain there. That's good. But I want you to acknowledge these beautiful, loving, healing hands, your skin. Your skin takes seven years to regrow. 
your lungs take three weeks, your eyeballs take three days. So wow, the magnificent magic of the body. Acknowledge this beautiful body that can heal itself day and night without you even aware of this. But when we focus and put some more awareness, focus, concentration, confidence, willpower, belief. Imagine your body has super cells. When you don't imagine, they're just sleeping cells. When you wake up and say, I've got super cells. You would never say I'm 150 next year. <laughs> In next year, in 150 times. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But this is the point. We can heal ourselves in three months, in three weeks. You can miraculously heal yourself from anything. If you breathe and believe and you keep sending it out there. Now, I've taught so many people how to do this, including myself. But I want to keep focusing on just all aspects. I healed my health and other people have managed to heal lots of other things. I want to heal relationships of my past really long, far back as well. Just to be able to sit with some people and have conversation with them. Or just having optimum health, never to worry about your health ever, ever, ever. And everything just works and you can climb up a mountain with your grandchildren. That's a nice idea. And you can afford to go to exotic places and faraway spaces. Even though you have to track there for days and days, that's part of the adventure. It doesn't matter how much it costs because that's not an object, an issue anymore. You can do whatever you like. Imagine that. And so can everybody. This is our birthright. This consciousness that's been created that's the only certain select few can do certain things is rubbish we have free will on this earth we are free as long as we're willing nothing can stop us if you're confident and you believe sooner or later it will manifest don't worry about the how you just focus and concentrate on what you want your intention your intention and that breath, that feeling, that abundance of gratitude and joy of all that hard work of breathing and believing and the confidence and the focus, that's all it takes. It's so easy, so difficult to explain, but it's easier to do. It's far more simpler just to try it out and just keep doing it and then fake it till you make it. One of my teachers told me, after a while, you will believe it. And when it comes true, then you really are happy. And then you've got something, a point of reference to remember by. And you will keep doing it. And the more you do it, the more easy it becomes. The more easy it becomes, the more it's just the way of life. So what are we creating? Open hips. <laughs> Optimum health. Okay, ease. My bones, my joints, my body is in perfect harmony inside and out. Everything is effortless. With grace and gratitude, I flow with ease and effortlessness. Lightness of being. I'm so grateful for this body, this health. The hair, the nails, the skin, the eyes to see, the tongue to taste, the feelings to experience, the mind to understand, the ego to protect, the spirit for adventure and creativity and intuition and nurturing. Inhale. And imagine your frenemies, your figure, your 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 piggers, <laughs> your triggers, <laughs> your piggers, <laughs> the big triggers, your piggers. 
uh, new word, new triggers. Your big triggers are those piggers. So imagine all the piggers, like little boogers. <laughs> they had a purpose, now they don't. So now you just got to <laughs> tag and release. <laughs> Did you know that laughter is the best medicine and it relaxes the hips? So keep on laughing as long as you don't wet yourself. <laughs> And when we um, laugh, we actually release the same uh, hormones we do when we're having sex. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> oh my God, I wonder who's going to watch this video. This one's going to be a hit. <laughs> oh my God, okay, I'll stop now. Okay. <laughs> I've got a confession. I actually stay at home a lot and start talking and laughing to myself. I have conversations. I even think I'm funny talking to myself. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to our healing. Optimum health. Your triggers. Your triggers. Those big triggers in our life, they just get under your skin. And you can't help it. And you struggle to control the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings, the outbursts. And sometimes it's good you have control. And other times you have absolute no control and you regret it and you learn from it, blah, 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 blah. And so it goes on. Let's go there. Right there. Bullseye. Inhale. Lift up your spine. Suck in that belly. Chin up, buttercup. Chest out. Stand tall. Stand proud. Stand in what you believe, hold it, no matter what, and see them melt. Start to laugh as you exhale and watch them laugh with you. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes, can you imagine, it's happened. You and somebody have a disagreement and years later you reconnect and you don't know why you were disagreeing with each other and you missed each other and that's all that mattered sometimes it doesn't happen like that and you go work a little bit hard at it so let's go again inhale contract go to your triggers imagine a time when you were happy with each other where it really just for a moment split second felt authentic See it growing beyond a split second. See you both agreeing to be at peace and harmony. Out of each other's hair and it's like, wow. At last we've got here. You can feel that authentic moment in their eyes. Feeling that same, wow, at least we've got here now. And as you exhale and relax, walk away and you both feel relief. Gratitude. Forget, forgive, no attachment to outcomes. And we keep working on that. Again, inhale, contract. It can be the same face. Again, it can be new scenario. And exhale. Breathe and believe. I promise you I heal breast cancer like this. You've got nothing to lose, but so give it a shot. I want you to keep one foot exactly where it is. But before we do, just interlace and then inhale, lift up, exhale, shift. Just keeping one foot where it is, stretch the other foot. So you can see my foot goes slightly off center. It's exactly supposed to be like that because then the hips are still square. That back toe will dissect a line. Oh, excuse me. We're working all this gas. This is, when you start to burn the fire, it means that the spirits are transforming what we've just been doing. Aho. And so it is. Fire. Okay. So that long, big, 
front toe aligns with your folded toe and your middle. Okay. Hands into your heart. Fingers expanded, not to touch. Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, Mars. They're all there. Suck your belly in. Shoulders down. Elbows out. Expand it down so that you open your chest. If you need a strap, then get a strap. Inhale, arms over the head. But let's have a look. Exhale, draw the shoulders down. Lift up your chin, belly in. Okay. If I straighten my elbows too much, then my um, shoulders will go up a little bit. So I want to create a little bit of space. You don't have to be like, okay. We don't want to pull a hemorrhoid or a you know, muscle somewhere. So you just want to keep it nice and give it space around there. But check that this aligns the upper arm. Okay. So do, 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 do. the Indian woman used to have, do it dancing like that for that reason. But try not to do too much. Just giving space. Chin is up, belly in. Now let's go. Inhale, stretch, and then stretch your arms as well as you arch back. Exhale, fold forward, suck your belly in, lengthen that spine as you suck belly in. If you can't place the hands over the foot and the forehead and the knee, please get your strap and place it over your foot and pull yourself forward. Your back in this pose, if you can't get the head comfortably down, Your back should be at a 90 degree. Okay. Look at my belly if I relax the belly and this back and the spine. Okay. The, I see a lot of students just plonk. How's it? <laughs> come to yoga today. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'll come again next month. <laughs> okay. My ex husband was like that. <laughs> so. What I'm saying is you can put your strap over like that, hands into, but now he's really good. He's a great yoga teacher. So everything is possible. Inhale, arms over the head and exhale. And again, inhale, suck that belly in. Hold the strap, get the elbows down. Keep getting your chin up and keep stretching like that. Keep that lengthened. Flex your toes. Keep stretching yourself like that. Hold this and suck that belly in for five breaths. Last breath. Lift up your chest, lengthen that spine again. And as you exhale, see if you can comfortably just let yourself go as far as you comfortably, uh, comfortably can. If you like, if you can, if you have extra cushions, then maybe just use some extra cushions and just see if you can maybe cop it like that. If it makes it comfortable, pull yourself closer. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Every time you suck your belly in, you'll go a bit deeper, okay? Until you ultimately come straight down. Take your last deep breath then. And as you exhale, extend your arms over the head and bring that other foot in. I'm gonna turn around more like this side. Back to Baddha Konasana. This is a beautiful hip opener and it will send blood flow to the hip, pelvic, inner thigh, groin area, which is where all that tension originates when we've got lower back tight hip. 
So get yourself upright, suck that belly in, sitting on the edge of this other mat. Okay, there we go. Inhale, lift up the organs, lengthen your front. And exhale, shift closer. Extend the other leg now, leave your other foot exactly, other side. That foot is slightly off center, that toe. Hands into your heart, keep your hips square. If you need, get your straps and your cushions ready. Hands in the heart. Center yourself, find your axis with the breath. Next breath, inhale, arms over the head. Exhale, shoulders down. Keep your elbows over the line of your ears, suck your belly in. Then inhale, lift up, stretch, slight arch back. Suck your belly in. Exhale, fold forward. See how far you can comfortably go. And stay there for five breaths. We're going to do this twice. So the first one, use your strap if you need to, the same as you did to the other side. And breathe. Sending out all your beautiful blessings, those intentions, those healings. Just keep feeding the same feelings and thoughts and vibrations, mind, body, soul. Last deep breath in. As you exhale, extend your arms and flowing up. And let's go again. So this time, if you need cushions, please get yourself some cushions. Just them where you feel you could be comfortable. Get your strap. Hands into your heart. And inhale. And exhale. And then slightly arching back. Exhale, fold, folding forward. And just collapse. If you don't need the cushions, then just go do it twice. Keep sending your beautiful intentions, love, gratitude, and abundance thereof. Last breath then. And exhale. Extend over head, palms together, come down. Please bring that foot in again. Okay. I want to actually, yeah. So if you need a cushion, get on a cushion. Yeah, okay. Get yourself on a cushion, extend your other leg and picking up this leg. This needs to be parallel to the earth so that if I'm sitting in the middle of the mat, that other foot will go on the one side, and like that. Take your thumbs, softly place them to touch like that. Wait, let me see, can you see there? Yeah. <laughs> and then I put that like that. And I put it in front. Okay. This is called the eagle, Guaruda, Vishnu, the sun god. Is eagle. This is the mudra of the eagle. Okay. When I sleep, I put my hands like that. So your semi chakras on your heart, my heart. So it's going like that because I can't sleep like that at night. <laughs> so 
So just like that. And then, yeah, fall asleep. So when we place this in the heart center, we're using the energy of the big eagle, being able to see from the space of your sacred soul self, your heart, your true love, the big picture. Okay. So here it's fear, hips opening, and from the space of true love, of one love, source, creation, through your body, your soul, start to see through the fear. Start to see through all these belief systems that no longer serve us, these illusions of others, of ourselves. And imagine you had this like a laser beam flame, violet, purple, beautiful, bright, electrical purple. And you could just cut all these cords of fear, belief systems, with every in-breath and out-breath. They were just hanging like little threads in the space of time. And they no longer served you well. So just like a clipboard hanging in a thread, you just, why not? Last one. Right. Interlace your arm. Get that kneecap in line with your shoulder. And again, if you, oh, let me just readjust myself. Okay. And if you can, put your thumbs on the Guaruda Mudra and extend that hand, I mean, the little leg. Suck that belly in. Try not to turn the head, but rather keeping your head dead still, straight, and exercise your eyeballs, the retina. Go anti-clockwise, your left. Inhale, look at your big toe. Exhale, going upright, anti-clockwise. Harmonizing with the Earth's magnetic rotation, first going anti-clockwise, so we can end off the same way the Earth's cycle spin. Harmonizing our energy, going at a pace that you are directing you're creating that's comfortable, manageable for you. So finding your rhythm, the freedom of your form. Last one. Then change. Sit up straight. Last one, take that ankle and bring it in. Bring that extended leg, more centered. Okay, great. The, that knee, then bent knee, can be in line with my shoulders. Yeah, both of them. There's about two hands distance in between my knees on the inside. This is a nice, comfortable, Thread your fingers through those toes. Let's see if we can bind. Extend your other arm to the sky, shoulder to ear. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, rotate your hand behind the back. Go a little bit forward. Maybe you need to take your other hand and help the hand behind the back. Otherwise, if you can't, use a strap. Take the strap in your one hand. On the other hand, bring it behind and free that hand. Okay. 
Can you see? Okay. Right, Yogi. And as we go, inhale, lift up. We sit, do it from the side. Slightly arching your back, stretching your front. Suck your belly in, fold forward five breaths. If you can't go right down, please just get cushion and make yourself like really comfortable so that you can relax as much as you can, but still keep holding that strap on your toe behind the back. And let's hold this for five breaths. Last deep breath in. And as you exhale, extend that arm over the head, flow up and release. Let's exchange the feet now. And again, if you need to sit on your cushion, please do so. Get yourself in the middle of the mat. Going to the other leg. Take your thumb tips, the eagle mudra, softly. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and Last one. And then take your arm, hook on the knee, get your knee in line. Again, go back to Guaruda Mudra. If you need this, I normally like a little bit extra support on this so I don't get lazy halfway through. My spine goes like a question mark. So this gives me extra lift to be able to hold it comfortably. And I get more or better alignment leaving my other foot extended, suck your belly in. Look at that big toe, but keep your head dead straight. Shoulders drawn back, belly keep sucking it in. Mouth softly closed, going left, inhale. Exhale, right up. Keep your eyes fixed. Last one. Change. Suck up, sit up straight, suck your belly in. Last one. And take that foot, release that ankle in, bring that other foot straight in. Thread your fingers through your toes. Activate and stimulate, invigorate, awaken the energy to flow through. Start to massage your fingers and your toes. You can take the other arm, inhale. And as you exhale, hand behind your back. Use your hand if you need to. Otherwise, bind. Use your strap if you need to. 
making yourself really comfortable. Make it down now. Suck your belly in, adjust your arm over the line of your ear, draw that shoulder down. Find stillness before you move again. Just send out that nice feeling. Who's supposed to pop up? Feel it. Breathe and believe everything is possible. And so it is. Working with super powerful energies. Inhale, lift up, slight arch back. As you exhale, surrender and trusting the process as you let go, give thanks and gratitude as it's already happened. Breathe and believe, be confident and let go. Trust the divine to get to its work. Last deep breath in. As you exhale, extend your arms. Flow back up and release. Please take that foot, move that energy, let it go. This how are we doing with time? Oh, gee whiz. Marie, how are you doing with time? In oh, I can't see. <laughs> on me. Let's have a look. Yeah, what time? Yeah, well, it's really I like say let's say five minutes more or something. Okay, perfect. So let's finish off. Just do it one per cycle. Mm -hmm. Take it from the center of the earth. Inhale to your crown and then exhale through the roots, like we did, I think yesterday was the day before. And then reverse back and then bow down. The root is fear, it's red. Just keep it simple. Go through each chakra, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and then Shavasana. Contract your Mula Bandha. And as you let go, release and feel that gratitude. Keep feeling it and do your lotus like that. Inhale, contract. And as you exhale, let go. Then draw it, inhale. Bow down. Exhale, happiness, gratitude, surrender, let go. Next chakra, exhale. Then flow to Shavasana. I'm going to put on a song for five minutes so that we will know exactly when it stops. Oh, perfect, thank you. So I'm also gonna just make you feel it.
Softly and gently, become aware of your fingers, your toes. Start to move the fingers, move your toes. Place your feet together, extend your arms over the head, and as you do, Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just let go. Empty out your lungs. Take another deep breath in. Stretch your body full with your in-breath. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Roll over to your right side. And as you lay on the right, take a moment with your eyes and mouth softly closed. 
Sit the air in through your nose. Slot, softly, slowly push up on your left hand. Come into a nice, upright, comfortable posture. We do a heart salutation where we breathe everything that is past, all the lessons, all the victories, all the wonderful experiences, all the tragedies, all of this that is making life light. Trusting everything just gets better with time, as we get wiser. Hold on to your heart. Trust and faith and belief in yourself. Your ability to transform, transcend, heal yourself, heal others. Take that all into your heart. And as you exhale, send out more love and healing to faces, spaces, places, known, unknown. Namaste, Yogi. Yeah.